Hi there, my name is Rebecca Maloney and I want to say thank you to the Hartford Public Library for including me in your video series. And so today I'll be showing you all how to put together a collage with a little house. And I hope you enjoy creating. Let's get to it. Uh, some of the materials that we'll use is uh, paper. This is, um, any paper is okay, but I like something that's a little more heavy. So I have a drawing pad of um, paper here, and this is mixed media paper. It's just a little heavier for paint. We will be using paint. Um, I have acrylic paint, and you don't need too many colors, just maybe five or six colors. Um, obviously here you can see I have a, a, an arrange of different uh, colors, so just Craft Smart acrylic paint. I have some, um, I have a brush here, so a few different types of brushes if you have them. I also have paper towels, a pair of scissors, um, a paper plate, I'll use that for my palette, and a couple cups of water. And then lastly, I'm going to use some, a range of different pens and markers. If you have crayons, that's, you can use those too, you can use colored pencils. So the first layer <clears throat> we're going to do is just a color field of different colors of paint. And so I'm, I'm kind of going for an abstract uh, feel here with um, paint. So I'm going to use my palette and I'll stick my switch my brush. This is one. I'm going to put my brush in the water and I'm going to pick just a few colors. So right now I'll pick about five colors. Start with some yellow, some red. light green. It looks like a light green. All right, and so first the step is just to play with the paint and move the paint around on your paper and just kind of fill your paper in no particular way, but just to get some paint on your page here. And I like to move my paper around and helps me look at it in different ways. So I kind of move the page around while I'm doing something like this. And I got yellow, so I'll take some yellow. And this paint typically dries pretty fast. Um, I'm just gonna put the paint in different places here and go with that. Okay, so I have now my page has some paint on it. And the other thing that we'll need, which I didn't mention earlier, is some collage papers. So here I have different papers that you know, I've collected, but you can find collage papers around your house. You can use magazines, you can use um, like envelopes, paper bags. Um, you can always take, you can also take paper and paint it. And then that could be a collection, part of your collection of collage papers. Um, what else? Wrapping paper. So pieces of old wrapping paper, if you've collected that work really well. Um, Stuff like this is, I don't know where I got this, but. And then also sometimes I'll use my old palettes of paint and I can mix that into my, or put that into my collage paper. So I have a lot of different papers here. So you're gonna find some collage paper. This is a coffee filter <laughs> that I cut up. All right, so um, I'm gonna start adding collage paper to my page, my painted page. and. Another thing I'm using is Mod Podge, which is a glue. So you're gonna also need some glue. And this is a matte glue, so it's not shiny. I like, I use a lot, so I have a big one here. And now I'm gonna switch my brush 
you can use a different brush. Like you could have a brush for just the paint and a brush for the glue. So I'll do that. I have another brush here and I'm gonna use my other water jar for this. So I'm gonna grab some uh, collage paper and start ripping up some pieces and this is gonna be my second layer. So when you add collage for this section, again, we're staying with abstract. I'm not, I'm kind of just doing random uh, place placement. And I'm gonna use the glue. And what I do is when I find a piece I wanna glue down, I'll put a thin layer of glue on one side. I'll then go back to my page and put a layer where I'm gonna put this piece. So um, I'm looking for a place that's more dry. My page is already almost dry with the paint. That's how fast it is. And then I'll come back here and I'll apply my piece. And I'm gonna repeat this action. I put another layer sometimes on top if this is a heavier piece so sometimes it's needed and I'm gonna rotate and just find another piece to add so you can tear your collage paper you can also um, we have those scissors you know I have a pair of uh, scissors so I could also cut a straight edge I'll do that next this piece here. It's a little bit heavier. So I can use my scissors. I have like some paper bag. I think this is a paper bag. And maybe I'll cut a curved edge like this. This is a thinner piece of paper, so and I'm gonna just put this right over this piece. <laughs> Anything goes. So this is the fun. I'm kind of doing this a little bit more fast than you need to. You can take your time with this. Um, there's no rush. Let's do something different color. All right, yeah, this is cool. So this is painted paper that I have in my collage pile so and this is a bigger piece so I want to vary the sizes of the collage papers that I use on my piece too just for variation and stick this one up here cover some of the red Let's do one more. So this is a piece of paper that I've painted on and I've actually done some drawing on. So we'll add this in. Put a piece here. So I think that's good for now. Um, actually, let me do one more. Let's do some small in this corner. Now it's got a little bit of uh, some paint still that needs to dry, but mostly this is a layer of collage papers and wet glue. So I'm going to give this some time to dry, about 10-15 minutes. And in the meantime, um, I've created one of these already. So we're going to switch this one. While this one dries, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you one that I did yesterday. That's ready to go. 
So say you've done your, you know, you're at this point, you have your color field in the back of paint. We added a layer of collage. Um, now I can take the third layer. I'm going to cover this paint, or sorry, the glue so it doesn't dry on me. Um, so the third layer is going to be marker. Um, you can grab your markers. This is completely dry, so I'm not going to get my um, nice markers or Sharpies mixed up with paint. So this is completely dry, and now I'm going to grab some of my markers here, and I'm going to really layer over with some markings. Again, being kind of random with it. I'm using different colors. This is an actual um, thick white. Ooh. Yeah, this is a thick white um, marker. So it it's got some paint actually in it. It makes some thicker markings. What's what else? Do I have? Um, Okay, so I did some of that, and you can leave this if you like like it here. The final step would be go to go back to your palette of paint, and I can take some more paint. Oh, this is my this is my paintbrush. <laughs> I can take some more paint and actually paint a little bit more over what I've done here with my pen and my collage. So we're basically creating a page of layered paint collage and marker. Um, so. Oh man, I'm mixing these up. It's okay. <laughs> um, we're creating something that's um, just got a lot of different variations of things happening here. That's a lot of paint there. Okay. And you know what? I'm going to actually use some um, white. As you can see, I've mixed both of my brushes in to the different waters, and that's okay. All right, so let's do some white. Um, your paper towel could also, you can use to rub some paint in there. Okay. So it's up to you how long you'd like to go with these layers and work on this, but what I'm going to... Um, let you know is that now I'm actually going to cut this into four pieces. So, you know, you might actually really like what's happening, which is, you know, you can keep it together. But um, the next step for, for what we're going to do for these small collages is cut this. So I'm going to find the halfway point here. And I'm going right through the middle. You could use a, of course, if you really want to have some straight edges, you can use a ruler. And measure. And this one's going to be halfway here. And then I'm going to do this piece halfway. So I'm cutting my big page into four pieces. Okay. I'm 
so now I have four pieces of mixed media, meaning different mediums, paint, markers, and collage. And then I'll show you the next step from here. All right, so what I have here is I put down a big piece of white paper so that you could see what I'm doing a little more easily rather than against the painted tabletop. So I have my different um, collage cut squares. And what I'm gonna do is just look at these and determine, you know, where could I put a nice landscape on one of these? What, what am I seeing that could be a landscape in any of these squares? Of collage and paint and marker and so uh, I'm gonna just pick one maybe let's do this one and I'll start to imagine what I'm seeing here that could be a landscape so right here I'm seeing like a possible horizon line um, I want to put a I'm gonna put a little house in my in my landscape so I'm looking for where the house could be I'm just imagining like what could I make in this little square like what kind of world could I make in this little square of, of collage. So I'm going to start by putting down uh, maybe my house or where I want my house to be. So I wanna find a spot for that. And I'm thinking maybe like right here, I'll put a little house. So what I wanna do is pick a piece of collage paper that would be contrasting to the background. So the house pops and comes forward. So that looks like orange could do the trick for that. And so I'll cut a little square. Usually when I do these little houses, they're little squares. Um, maybe not perfect squares. Something that will fit in my image. All right. And I'm also gonna <clears throat> put down on top of my house, I'm gonna have it also have a roof, and the roof is just gonna be a triangle. So what I'll do is go ahead and glue my little house down here. And same thing with a roof. I'm gonna look for something that's gonna contrast the background and I'm using I'm just kind of going this is palette my palette paper that's in my collage pile perfect <laughs> it's a green a green roof so sometimes the little pieces of paper can take a little more extra care when keeping them down. Boom, little roof there. Oops, this one shut the door. There we go. All right. And I'm gonna put a door in my house. Again, looking for colors that are gonna pop so I can see these little elements on my house. The door, the um, roof. There we go. <laughs> and so this is a tiny piece of paper, so. Come on, come on little piece. There we go, all right. Okay, so I have now put a little house in there. <laughs> okay, so now this can set the stage for what else I want to add. Um, so maybe there's going to be a pathway. And I can create that using my paint or marker. Pathway there. And I'm going to go back. 
back to some of my paints here. And okay, now I can switch up. There we go. Switch up the colors. And there's a line here, so I'm going to emphasize that as part of the horizon. Sometimes a paper towel can do some fun stuff with blending. And another thing sometimes I'll do is maybe add a tree. So looking at my collage paper again, what could be a trunk of a tree? Maybe this light blue piece could be part of a tree that's going to be in the front of the house. And so basically this is just um, your time to create a little, a little world and uh, use the paint, painted papers you have, the collage papers you have around your home. Um, your markers if you have crayons or colored pencils and uh, just have fun with it um, this is a this is a dark marker or pen and some It's a shadow. It's a, some of my markers. Pull the dry out. There we go. And so you can continue, have fun with it, add more to your landscape. These are some that I finished kept pretty simple uh, this one it's different actually have some fabrics in this piece um, the collage here has got some clouds already in the collage paper um, this has got some paint that I had on the page and then I turned this into the hills added a some rainy clouds <laughs> and then uh, this one has more trees in it well, I hope you uh, enjoy this activity and um, thanks for watching.